who have this meeting is being recorded. Okay. Okay, so uh welcome everyone. The batch and this is I think the uh, third batch champion league that we are having this year. We are the first one in January, which was basically starting off the process. The second one in uh, in February, uh, where we started uh, saying that we need to uh, actually collect funds for the next year operation. And thanks to all the batch champions for uh, making that kind of an effort where we were able to collect the funds for uh, the launch operation for one year complete. Yes. So I think uh, that's a great achievement because this is the first time we've collected funds like that. Everyone reached out to people and uh, reached out to their batchmates and you know got uh, things mobilized. Uh, lounge, so uh, we pay a rental of about 1.3 lakhs per month for the lounge and we were running short of funds. But thankfully with the uh, you know, efforts and support of all the batch champions, we've been able to reach that figure. Uh, you would have seen some people who have been accessing the website. It's visible on the website. We've collected about 15 lakh rupees, which is what we needed for our money. So that's a great achievement. So thank you for uh, your efforts and uh, thank you everyone for joining from different parts of the globe today. We missed the people staying abroad in the last couple of meetings. So we decided to have this meeting in the evening this time so that people staying in US, Canada can log in into this meeting. So moving into the forum, uh, in the, into the presentation, uh, we decided that uh, we start every uh, presentation or every meeting with a couple of slides which are common, uh, which basically talk about the vision of- Devishish, Devishish, sorry, just interrupting you for a second. There is only one particular position where your voice comes through. Okay. Uh, but this is, for example, this was very clear. So let me speak from this. So I'll yeah. have, have to kindly excuse me because uh, but I'm, uh, I'm going to speak from this position. So uh, the vision of uh, IIT, so we decided to uh, repeat a couple of slides in every presentation. This is one of them. Uh, our vision as IMT Alumni Association is to build the pride of being an IMT for life in the alumni community and contribute towards building the brand IMT. How do we do this? The mission that we have is to build engagement by providing tangible benefits to the alumni community and create a circle of goodwill that can be leveraged back by the campuses. Now, we've been doing this for many years and the goodwill created over the years has helped campuses in placements, internships, mentorships, guest lectures, and many other things. So the purpose of Alumni Association, as we said uh, in the mission statement, is to actually give you a holistic uh, picture to give you all the possible uh, things that are within our control, which is, you know, addressing your social needs, uh, where our LinkedIn post or our uh, website actually does that. Manasri and Sunakshi work on that. Uh, and whenever there is something to do with IMT, whenever there is some somebody uh, who's changing a good, into a, move, moving into a bigger job or whatever, gets into, uh, is highlighted on the website as well as social media. Across, uh, we want to build a friends network, access across batches. So that's the unique thing because most people think alumni operation is just about my batch. Uh, so when I meet a couple of my friends, that's enough. But this is an association which gives you access across batches. On the professional front, uh, business network, People who are recruiters can recruit from the IMT alumni fraternity. People who are searching for jobs can get into that. There is a job portal. Uh, there's a job site which is built into the website. Uh, coaching is one of the initiatives we want to take up. Uh, we want to sure audible, inaudible, somewhat audible. It's just shifting between all that. You'll have to hold the mic steady. Okay. okay. Then, let me let me try this again. Okay. Uh, and over a 
सोशल नेटवर्क प्रोफेशनल नेटवर्क एंड addressing some of the personal needs we had done the health insurance scheme there will be more in the coming months uh, mohit is on call i was expecting him here but uh, next meeting we will be launching a base plan for uh, uh, health insurance and an opd plan for insurance also uh, we have a club facility which is in the lounge uh, very interesting that people have now started when they travel outside from outside of delhi they come and stay at the lounge we have somebody who's uh, coming in the next couple of days so that's a great idea and here are some of the projects uh, i won't spend time on this but uh, the lounge then the passion de goa project which is again a unique property for us as an alumni forum uh, the alumni group health insurance and the uh, mobile app social media interface that we have where we reach out to all the batches starting from the first batch of 1982 till now okay so any activity that uh, we choose passes through three filters one is does it benefit the alumni does it benefit the uh, student and the institute and does it help build the brand imt any activity we choose has to pass through two of these three filters which are very simple to understand and judge moving on to the next phase i think i have crossed my time but uh, the activities in the lounge now that we have the lounge functional and last whole of last year we were in a dilemma that whether we will be able to run the lounge or not but now we are very sure that the lounge is there at least for a year and then we'll try and see what we can do but we plan to have four or five uh, activities every month four in uh, listed at the moment uh and i would request uh, kushal and vinamra to speak about it so vinamra can you take one from here thank you hi everyone um so out of these activities which we are planning uh yeah am i audible just a quick double check yes uh am i audible just double checking on screen yes yes, yes. very much thank you so uh, out of the four activities the first one uh, which brings all the entrepreneur community together uh, where we are trying to bring uh, groups created by domains for example we recently had a, a domain specific which is food related event done in uh, last april, april uh, initial uh, week of this month similarly we are trying to replicate where we bring more of industry uh, entrepreneur entrepreneurs who can make uh, who can contribute to the overall alumni community for example we also recorded an interview uh, with antaparan and, and broadcasted on the uh, social media uh, also there is an opportunity for entrepreneurs to put or advertise on the alumni website about their ventures uh, which is available which can be explored this is one of them uh, the second one is to bring nostalgia through chungi nights of course a date with parantha music and friends uh, this can be a batch wise reunion we have seen success where three of the batches come together Uh, for example 15 16 17 during my time where we usually know uh, the batch one batch about and the next uh, so that's one of the thing uh, followed by music performance by alumni themselves so this is one of them um batch champions can definitely uh, organize at their convenience please feel free to look for a slot book in advance for your batches the way you would like to organize the chungi night to bring the nostalgia together i think these are the two of them i'll invite kushal to cover the Uh, next one thank you so much vinamr so uh, we want uh, to the third kind of activity which we would like to do with the alumni network uh, so th these are essentially industry meetups and cross industry meetups also so the idea is to eventually make a network like the business networking international network uh, wherein people who are part of different industries into different roles can actually benefit professionally as well 
uh, but in order to reach that, what we want to do initially is to have industry-wise meetups where we have senior alumni from selected industry visit the lounge. Now, they could be from either an industry per se, very similar to the food industry meetup we had last month. Uh, also, they could be from a functional area. For example, we could have people uh, from different zones of marketing, from different zones of sales, from operations. So we can have those kind of things. We want to initially to build interest, have panel discussions, uh, wherein junior alumni also get an opportunity to meet the senior alumni and network with them. Of course, uh, in order to build this up, we would require batch champions to either nominate people from their batches or if you know you can go slightly more proactive, uh, we would want to be, uh, you know, we would want to circulate Google Forms uh, in all of these batches wherein people understand that what kind of activities we are doing and nominate themselves for either a particular industry or a functional area. Uh, and as I mentioned, the uh, final objective is to make a BNI kind of network where everybody gains professionally. Uh, building on this activity, we would also want to do a very specific kind of um, uh, an initiative where we would want to unite people who are 10 batches apart. You know, so um, ideally you would have people who are fresh out into the industry with some people who are in mid-senior management. And also we can have uh, groupings wherein mid-senior management people are able to get in touch with senior leadership. You know, people who are 15, 20, 25 years um, into, the, into the industry. The idea is that we want to fulfill, as mentioned by Debushi sir initially, we want to ensure that everybody's needs are met. People who are in the early part of their uh, journey, career journey, get mentorship, get uh, a good KT as to how to conduct themselves and the progress in the career. And also for people who have gone through that journey, uh, it gives them an opportunity to mentor younger people, uh, to pass on their knowledge and, you know, maybe get the fifth level of Maslow's hierarchy. Uh, so that's again something which we would want batch champions to ensure um, that we are able to get a large number of nominations for it. Again, for the same, we'll have another Google form being circulated wherein people can uh, uh, nominate as to are they looking to get uh, mentorship or are in a position where they would want to be mentors to other people and we'll uh, uh, set up this activity. Thank you so much. Uh, I think it's back to Debushi, sir. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, so we'll come back to this as a summary later on, but uh, now I am going to switch off the presentation from here. Um, uh, how do I unshare? I'll... Same button, same. It's a it's a toggle. If you just go on share screen okay. below the green, yeah. Yes. Uh, so we had decided that uh, you know we'll be launching a big initiative uh, for the community, <clears throat> and uh, it is time to do that. Uh, there has been a lot of work that has been put in by uh, people who are going to launch it today and I'm going to introduce them in a while but uh, it's been almost a, uh, you know it, this thing has been in discussion for about a year and a lot of uh, work has gone into this I personally believe this can be a game changer for the IMT alumni community uh, and uh, this can give us a lot of joy uh, as we meet again, maybe three, four years down the line when, uh, you know, we see, we actually start experiencing uh, the uh, uh, results, the tangible results from it. The results from it will be visible possibly within a couple of weeks or months, but then the real uh, thing will be visible of, over a period of time. And I think this will be a game changer. So I'll not introduce the activity, but I'm going to uh, talk about the two speakers who are going to take the next session. Uh, Mr. Vikas Jain, he has about three uh, decades of uh, work experience in the corporate world uh, and has uh, worked uh, in five diverse business cultures 
which is Indian, American, Chinese, Japanese, and the Korean uh, world. Uh, he's been traveling across the length and breadth of India and more than 30 countries. And that gave him an exposure to understanding the ground realities very well. From uh, startup to scale up, from national uh, to world leaders, uh, and his uh, previous assignments. Uh, he's been empowering over thousands small and medium sized entrepre uh, enterprises, uh, ensuring turnovers of uh, 6 billion and handling a team of uh, 450 members in this last assignment. Uh, while he was doing this, there was a constant uh, thing that was going on, which, uh, you know, he got an opportunity to experiment and get insights of leadership questions. What really works? Why? What strategies are effective? What changes are uh, sustainable in the long run or ensure success that are time tested? Uh, what uh, really happens? Uh, at some point of time, therefore, he founded his company, which is uh, by the name of uh, 910. And this is in the year 2022. Uh, of course, he's done his experiments and learnings with psychology, neuroscience, positive intelligence, uh, ICF coaching competencies, and many more. So I'll. Uh, uh, that's one of the sessions that we look forward to. Uh, the second person that we are going to introduce to you uh, is a person who... Uh, I have been personally chasing right from the beginning of my career and I've been finally able to get in touch with her uh, at a later stage. She's from the batch of 1991, uh, Nasreen Khan. She has over three decades of professional experience post completing her MBA from Ghaziabad in 91. She began her career in sales at NIIT and uh, moved to different leadership roles, gaining insights from diverse perspectives. She is uh, among the select few individuals worldwide to have a rare blend of uh, accreditations, including new code NLP practitioner, uh, master practitioner of NLP, uh, master of hypnosis. And uh, she holds a certification as a life coach, professional coach, and NLP coach from various international organizations. Uh, she founded Catalyst Advisory and Coaching uh, and Training, a firm that helps individuals, groups, uh, many of them that you know, which are uh, the likes of Tata Group, Edelweiss, University of Chicago, Aditya Birla Group, so on and so forth. She focuses on coaching professionals at CXO levels. Uh, she uses NLP and ICF-based principles to ensure her clients achieve the performance and life goals. Uh, she, in recognition of her, her work, she has been awarded India's top 100 impactful coaching leaders by the World HRD Congress for two consecutive years in the year 2023 and 2024. Uh, and uh, I would uh, also uh, give a special mention here because during the COVID times, she launched a very specific initiative called Listening Arts, which was... Uh, something that actually was an emotional support to people who actually un needed uh, uh, emotional support during that point of time. So I'll keep it short and simple here, but uh, over to you, ma'am, over to you, sir. Thank you so much, Devishish. But that was very long. We had said not more than two, two lines. <laughs> That's not done. <laughs> But uh, thank you so much and uh, very warm welcome to everyone. We are not really going to be um, talking too much. We are just going to get you into some fun exercises and games. And if the people who are off video can please come on video, that will be very helpful because it's very difficult to talk to a black box. Uh, because what we're going to do in just a while is that we are going to ask you to talk to other people and ask them a few questions. Uh, because what's there at your end? How many people there? So the screen first check. Uh, can you hear me clearly? Okay. Yes. We are here. Eight people include Devashish and Manasri. Okay. Yeah. You can uh, add plus one there. I'll be joining in five minutes. <laughs> Who's that? Ritambara here. Okay, good. Yeah. yeah. 
Okay. So, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to do, uh, let me see if I can do pairing. Okay, so uh, how many of you are very comfortable with breakout rooms? Just show me physical or digital hand. Okay. Manage. Yes, no. Okay, never mind. So what we're going to do is that on for the session, which is online, I'm going to be putting you into groups of three, hopefully, and maybe a, there's a pair or two. And there's going to be, a, there are going to be two questions that I'm going to ask you to say. So the question is, and this is, by the way, speed dating, which means you're going to get only 90 seconds uh, yeah, so per person. Like, yes. No, I'm famous for meeting, right? Am I, I can't hear you because you said something. I'm saying I'm just famous for dating, right? Yes, so that's how speed dating. But we'll we'll do speed dating. Yeah, we do speed dating. Yes. Yeah. So that's that's what we are going to introduce to the group. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Sure. So what's going to happen is that you're going to be in either I don't know offline. Maybe there there are pairs or there are groups of three. We'll see. But you're going to be paired up with someone, and the question you're going to answer is, what are some points or stages in your career when you felt you needed some help, some kind of help. And we're keeping it to the professional side. I'm sure we all required help at some stage somewhere. But for in your career, what points or stages did you need some help or you needed some support? And who did you go to? For example, let's say you became the first a first time leader. Did you need help then? Or were you applying for a job? You needed help then? Or you got stuck somewhere with a bad boss? When did you need help? So the questions are clear. Give me a thumbs up. At what stage in your life did you need some support and who did you turn to? So explain the situation a little bit and then um, just, just talk about it. I'm putting the people here into breakout rooms, okay? Uh, you, you should be getting assigned yourself automatically. In, in exactly three minutes, I will pull you back mid-sentence, so please be careful. Please start. Go ahead. I'm opening the breakout rooms. Some of you are paired and some of you are in threes, okay? Thank 
You have about a minute left. So I'm closing the rooms. People will be back. Yes, yes. Are you that? Yes, we're coming back here. Yeah. Come back. This was just a conversation for all of us to have started, right? Let's hear about you. Yeah. So uh, I'm sure you got uh, some sense of what people were saying. Is everybody back? Wait a minute. I don't have everybody back yet. Oh, well, everybody's not back. No, no, second. not yet. Yeah. Thirty seconds to close. Yes. So how many people? How many breakout rooms? You got like three people for breakout. Okay. Aditya, did you have a good conversation? With, with a budding entrepreneur. With a budding entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm sure he had some things to say. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In, in the meantime, you can ask some people who are there with us while we wait for the others to come in. Can you just come here? Yeah. Okay, welcome back. So Amit, did you get... Sorry? I mean, two people, uh, none of them got to hear me. <laughs> none of them got to hear you? Okay. <laughs> no, no. I and Alti are from the same batch, so we discussed uh, most of the other things, but then we came to the topic also. And then Ankur joined at the end. I don't know how, for last 58 seconds. So I see. Them. Okay. Okay. Yes, because Ankur was alone, poor thing. No, I was with Ankur and I think I got chucked. I was forcefully shifted <laughs> out of the room. <laughs> and 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 I'm calling you on your mobile phone, such as <laughs> they are oh, actually, I, I actually I... put it on silent because I thought I'll attend the session. <laughs> I've been calling you again. <laughs> okay. 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 And hopefully some new ones as well. And beyond just a box. Okay. Yes, Vikas. So shall we talk about what we are thinking yeah. of going ahead? Yes. So what Nasri and me, you know, what we are worked with is with Devashi's initiative. So Devashi has been like, uh, you know, really a wanting something different to happen for the alumni. And I think IMT is the essence where we want to do something on this first in time, first time in the country. So this initiative is be as first of its time by any 
peaceful very peaceful factor they are right now sri yeah so you know what uh, devishi has been saying for a while that you know i wish there was someone who could have supported me in my journey and and when we were to talking to different people that's what we heard from you know all kinds of alumni whether whether it's a youngster passing out who says you know what i'm going for campus placement or whether it was someone who's uh, already a senior and saying okay i'm going in for for a promotion about to have a performance appraisal but but no no fair has an institute looked at students after they passed out so devishish came back and said what what if we could give support to our alumni through the journey that they go and that is how uh, you know and of course like vikas said he's been talking to us for a while <laughs> but yeah so, so yeah, last yes vikas last two meetings we just shared about what is coaching and what is not coaching so coaching is different from training coaching is different from mentoring coaching is different from advising coaching is different from counseling coaching is a new age science where we help people evolve by using their own resources from the different past questions that's what coaching is right and we have spoken about this in last two meetings and for those who are joining new i'm just speaking today again now the point is can something be done by alumni for alumni is what is the thought which we have worked upon and uh, intrinsically you know there is a need which may be felt or may not be felt by a lot of people but you need help when you are getting into a job when you are moving from individual contributor to manager or from manager to leader and i think the street with her experience can talk about the ceo cx role to you the street yeah i mean uh... what i realized see i didn't know anything like coaching existed frankly i had no clue i mean i'm like it's not that i had planned to be a coach and i became a coach or whatever but when i realized you know i had always had mentors in my journey and i'm sure you must have when you spoke just now you must have figured about some mentors you must have spoken about some of those but what mentoring is when you you got somebody from the same industry or same role helping you up your career but coaching when i discovered coaching it was very fascinating for me because it was about proactively growing whatever i had inside me to become go to its full potential that's what i found very very fascinating and then i realized that there is a method to this madness and it is possible to do and uh, the fact when i work with ceos it's it's really amazing many of them said i wish i had started this earlier it's uh, remarkable uh, the number of people who've said that i i wish i had you know my company had given this to me earlier but the cost of coaching is so high not every organization can afford it and that's something that we spoke to devishish about as well we said look how would we get good coaches here to you, you know you're saying it's a initiative for alumni by alumni so that we have many more cxos than we from imt than we have today but how to do that who will do that and why will somebody do that so then we thought maybe it is going to be imtians who will be willing to come in uh you know volunteer their time because over to you yeah so in fact there's some background to this whole thing uh last year uh devashish with all his uh, persistent efforts you know uh approached him as and we said okay let's give it a shot and we did a project for 100 hours of coaching for the entrepreneurs at within the group of imtms alumni those who are entrepreneurs and who are feeling stuck can we help them with the coaching science and i see one here madhulika i see you here would you be willing to yes. speak say a word or uh, two so madhulika why don't you share your experience you'll have to unmute yourself what happened did you really get benefited out of that by god don't say this i was coaching her she got to say no <laughs> that please be frank you know you yeah, yeah i'm just i'm just that. kidding uh, i'm just uh, kid i'm just kidding you know uh, i think it was a um, uh, it was a complete surprise i don't think i had ever uh, uh, understood what coaching is and i uh, you know uh, some stars came together and nasreen was on my screen on the day that uh, uh, you know i had to start and i thought i had a very micro view of what i had put my objectives as you know scale up the business and uh, some stuff around it but it became uh, you know about me in in so many dimensions that i can't even begin to talk about it and some 
um, serious um, uh, realization of uh, uh, you know uh, mindset. I mean, uh, I mean, and and you can see my gray hair. If if I had reached this far with a stuck kind of a mindset, I think it was a it was a hundred and eighty degree turn for me. Uh, uh, absolutely, I mean. Uh, can't thank her enough. Uh, some serious stuff, which I then was able to, I think, build upon. And uh, uh, I mean, I would recommend it to anybody uh, to be able to. I mean, if you can afford it, you should be doing it like regularly. I think like a coach, like a sports coach, you need that. You need that. It's insightful. Uh, but I think it's also requires a certain level of regularity and discipline uh, to start seeing a shift in your in your life. Yeah. So. Thank you, Monica, and I think that was very helpful. Thank you so much. I'm sorry I just put you, you know, on the spot, <laughs> but uh, I just thought I could. <laughs> so thank you for that. Uh, I see Kalpana has raised her hand. Kalpana, yes, please. Yes, yeah, so, um, thanks, Nasreen. Uh, I think it's a very good initiative that both of you are trying to put together. Uh, like you said, Nasreen, even I wasn't aware of uh, this whole world of coaching before I, um, before I, happened to come across. Actually, one of my mentors uh, insisted that I should uh, train to be a coach and I took it with a pinch of salt at that time. But yeah, you know that I've been on this journey for a while now. And uh, like Vikas was saying, the power of coaching is is far beyond the power of mentoring or being an advisor or a counselor because the realization comes from within. You know, so when 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 a coach and a coachee uh, go through a session, the realization for the coachee comes from within. So yeah. if we can roll this out uh, for our alumni, I'm sure that the objective that you were talking about of having many more CEOs uh, can be that dream we can really drive towards. Yeah, I know and it's it, and it's a dream. In I, I'm quite scared about it. It is a dream. It's oh, a big, well, big ask. Uh, some, uh, when when dreams are big, you gotta be scared of them. But then <laughs> that's what uh, also helps you to achieve them. So uh, thank you so much. I really thank think uh, it's a, it's going to be a good initiative, and I'll be happy to support. Uh, thank you so much. Thanks so much, thank you much for you in this journey. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. So I, uh, you know, it's. It's a bit scary what we are trying to start off. Uh, I don't know how it will go. And we need all your help to figure out what we can do. Uh, so, Vika, shall we move yeah, there? No, Is there something else? I'll take a minute more. Yes, building please. on what Kalpana said, building on what uh, Madhurika said, that if you go to International Coach Federation, ICF sites, you know, coaching is a new age science. It started not very old, it's 30, 40 years, and it's really picking up. World over, whether you look at any big organizations, world over, CEOs, CXOs, CTOs, they have a coach. And this trend is now catching up in India also. And a lot of organizations, the industry has worked, I'm working, is basically wanting coaching. So the early adapters get the advantage of realizing that potential. Now, with that concept, Nasi, we can explain we are proposing. A coaching platform where the resources from the association, alumni association, are brought in and their platform helps to go to the people who need. And need is at the transition points of individual to manager to leader to visionary. All that places we can have the coaching. Now, this is the concept alumni for alumni. And it has to start with the space of serving. It starts with the place of serving where the coaches come to serve alumni and slowly it can convert to contribution to the association. And maybe after some years, if it really takes off well, it can be also a revenue model for individuals. But it has to start from the place of serving is what I would say in a strain. Over to you. Yeah, and it's just, just to just when you said that, I remember that when we had offered 100 hours of uh, pro bono coaching, what we also realized, and I don't know how to solve that issue, and you know, again, we're going to turn to you for help, is that when we offered it completely free, of course, what Madhulika said, that you it has to be consistent and you have to put in your effort as well. We realized that because it was free, some people didn't take it as seriously. So it's a dilemma, really. I mean, because, you know, how much... So it, I mean, Devishish, is it okay to say what a coaching session costs? 
Yeah. Is it all right? So, so I mean, even if you go back and find out, it can start from a twenty-five thousand per hour to a lakh per hour. Now, when we are asking people to volunteer their time from from the alumni, obviously they're expecting that at least the other side will take it seriously enough. So uh, we don't know how to solve that problem right now. But just sharing that this was our experience in the hundred hours of pro bono. Some people took it very seriously, like a uh, Madhulika, and by God's grace, she benefited. I'm very grateful. But there were also some people who would schedule a session and not turn up, which was very demotivating to the coaches because we were putting our time there. So just just sharing that as just piece yeah. of information when we go on to the next part of the activity. Yeah. So the point today is that this is not a launch of the program. Today is a day when we are talking about the concept and we want all the participants today to help us first of all own it as a program of the association because bad champions are the right people to own it and give us your stuff. So over to you for driving the next activity. Okay, so me being me, um, since I'm a coach, I don't do anything on my own. I let everybody do the hard work. <laughs> So what we're going to do is that I'm going to again open breakouts online and because you can have, I don't know how many people there are, I can't see everybody. So depending, so I'm going to put you into three breakouts, which may have three to four people or maybe five people in a room. And there'll be some questions that I'm uh, going to give you straight away. So the questions also I can, maybe I can, should I just show it on the screen because or? Yeah, let's, let's show the questions on the screen. Okay. Okay, so let me do that. Give me one second. So I will remove the spotlights. And I will remove this spotlight. Participate. I have people participating at Yeah. So just one second. I will just bring that up. Uh, okay. So let me know when you can see my screen. Just let yep. me know when you, you can. So yes. what's going to happen is that you're going to go into breakouts in just some time. And when you go into breakouts, the question you're answering is, as active members of the alumni, what is your advice to us on how to make this initiative successful? So, so the I'll question... For the members clearly. As active members of the alumni, what is your advice to us on how to make this initiative successful. So there is resources on one hand, how do we get there? Or where do we, how do we reach? How do we make it effective? How do we really charge money? All those challenges are there. Over to you. And what we, you know, successful, we are thinking what successful. Successful for us is that the people who need this, actually, frankly speaking, everybody needs a coach. I mean, I have a coach and I realize, my God, why didn't I have a coach earlier? But that's a different story. All of us, definitely need a coach but those how do we get this to people who require this and will benefit from it that's one side of the story and how do we get the coaches who will do this work so right now we have both the sides we have to figure out and you know success for us would be when the people who need this service or who want this service can get good high quality coaches to do this work for them so getting good, high quality, competent coaches is required for us to really make a make a difference. So the quality, quality yes. and effectiveness with an open feedback system. You know? Yes. Some of the stuff which is required in this whole thing where we need the help of everybody. Because collectively we can think better and come out with a better design. That's the whole idea. Yes, and I'm going to show this to you once again. The process is going to be this, that you're going to be in breakout rooms where you're discussing this. But the way the answers need to come as you finish is that they will come on... How many of you have used Menti? Menti.com? Okay, good. So, okay, hold on. so everybody can log into Menti.com. Not everybody, just one person from the group. One the groups are decided because yeah. we can wait. So only the people online, can you see this for yourself? The Menti code? 71514752. And I'll repeat this again. So what we do is here, we make group of four, right? So any four groups. Okay, so I'm going to open breakouts here. I see that, okay. 
I see some room three has a few less people, so let me just add them there. Okay, I'm opening the rooms. So you're going to get exactly eight minutes for this discussion, and then we'll bring you back. And then we have 10 minutes for this. How many minutes, Nasreen? Eight, eight minutes. Eight minutes for this. Seven, one, five, one, four, six, five. Do you see the question there? Eight minutes to discuss, two minutes to put it up. Vikas, eight minutes to discuss, two minutes to put it up. Vikram, you haven't been able to join a room? I don't want to join. You don't want to join? No. Okay. I do not understand the concept of coaching. Sure, so you can discuss it in the room. No. Somebody will help you understand. I listen to what you guys have to say. Sure. <laughs> Because how many groups there? Because how many groups there? The machine just informed you online that everybody can submit their ideas one by one and the boxes will continue to repeat. Okay. So that was so. Okay. So that's the that's what we need to figure out. How can we make this a successful uh, initiative? Is that right, Nasri? Yes. So just keep yeah. putting it in Menti. Uh, you have the code with you, right? I put it in the broadcast message in case you don't have it. But menti.com code seven one five one four seven five two. Any one of you can start putting it. Is that okay? Yeah. 
you got how to do that somebody here can we uh, will one of us be able to share the screen here or no no you just have to put it on menti okay on okay. your phone you can open menti ah, okay. can somebody open it on your phone menti.com yeah okay Sorpana, are you doing it or you want me to do it? I think uh, Amit is doing it. I saw him Amit, picking up Amit, phone. are you doing that? I, I'm trying menti.com. Yeah, but yeah, I saw him pick up his phone as soon as she said menti.com. Menti.com. So <laughs> that Amit has taken it on and said to do it. I'm just checking because on the on the laptop, it did not open. It says me this. Japs, will you try, please? I sure, can. I can try. I must be not a problem. So just one of you can try. And the code, just somebody write the code. Then I'll go to the other room and tell them. And you keep getting, it has space for several answers. So you can keep putting as many answers, okay? Mm-hmm. Menti.com server IP address couldn't. Is there an exact URL HTTPS or something? What's the, what's the code again? I'm, I'm sorry. 7151. 7151. 4752. Okay. Got it. What do you get? I'm in. I can share my screen. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. How much time left? We still have uh, two minutes more for discussion and two minutes more for putting it up. Okay. Like you said, start something and you could uh, go anywhere. Maybe you can set a few objectives and kind of, uh, uh, you know, narrow it around only uh, business or career related stuff. Yeah. So that I'm, the... I'm guessing, sorry, I'm guessing you guys are the ones putting it up. Your responses are going on to uh, Menti. Yes, yes, yes. yes. It's perfect. gone. It's, yeah, it's perfect. gone. Thank you. Okay. okay. So, yeah. Couple, you can join the room in case you're here. Okay, one more minute for discussion. Because there are two groups there? Three groups there? Okay. And they already put it. Yeah, I think they already put it. Sure. There are super responses coming, so I think we should just give it a little more time. Because closing in one minute? Yeah, we are, I think we are one more minute. So your breakout room will close now in one minute? 60 seconds, yes. Yes, the groups are closing in 60 seconds. Less you than that. Want the what has dropped? 
कुछ कैप्चर yes. हुआ है यस यस ऑफ कोर्स आई आई विल स्टार्ट आई विल पुट इट ऑन स्क्रीन शेयर सो वन मिनट लेट इट क्लोज लेट द स्क्रीन क्लोज ओके Okay. Welcome back. Welcome back. People are coming back. Thanks for the wonderful session, Nasreen. I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> Thank you, and look at the wonderful responses coming up. Can you see my screen now? Yeah, we can see it. Yeah. Okay. So here are. different responses uh, let me just see what i can do to this one one second uh a lot of homework for you back up for suggestions lots of good suggestions yes and i'm trying to see how i can move it down can you see it now completely yeah, so see. okay one minute okay. oh oh wait 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 my mistake one second One second. Oh, we have captured everybody's idea. Yeah, here it is. Yes. So, getting organization to sponsor coaching questionnaire to check away. Oh, this is a great one. Questionnaire to check available available pool of certified coaches as well. P X P G P X as executive alumni may need coaching. Okay, so I think if everybody can see it, I don't need to read it. Right. But let me see how do I move it down. There are some more. So Nasreen, I have a kind of a like question for you. What is like? So we're doing this exercise, great exercise, and I'm sorry, I'm new to this. But sure, what does sure. success, what does success look like for you? That's that's exactly what I said. If we can get the people, the right kind of coaches to volunteer time, jabs to begin with, because it can't be commercial. Because people aren't going to pay fifty thousand bucks from their pocket to begin with. But we do want the alumni to become more and more alumni to get successful in the corporate world and otherwise. even entrepreneurs i mean as an entrepreneur myself i was stuck at so many stages <laughs> and i wished i had somebody so yeah so uh, that's what we are looking for okay see my observation is that he has started a session on coaching without even explaining what is coaching about i uh, don't understand what is coaching i do not understand what you are talking about right uh, i am attending a course i am attending attending a session because i am attending it but i don't understand head or tail of what we are going where we are going and what we are doing and why we are doing <laughs> what thing why we are coaching what we are coaching <laughs> to say coaching cost a lakh of rupees an hour but coaching of what does coaching what does it cost a lakh of rupees an hour I, when you do not do not explain the basics and then directly jump into coming to a conclusion ki this is what we are going to i mean you are not even giving a background what is a coaching what are we going to look into what you are saying coaching is different than let me stop you there i'll just uh, stop it because that's what i said i don't think so uh, and i was clear when i spoke about it that last two batch meetings we have spoken about what is coaching and what is coaching not and uh, i also spoke a little about it but you are absolutely right most of the peers do not know what coaching is in this country why because it is a very very new age science and it is just getting into place so i would invite you to do a little bit of research on what is coaching and just read about it and we are here to share what is it about but in this forum we assume that a lot of people already aware of what coaching is because we have spoken about it last two times we come And, and so you know, that means so it's very clear that I am in the wrong group. Thank you for having me. No, it's <laughs> not that. Um, I think <laughs> it's not that. It's like we need consistency because we have to build upon something every time. We can't go back to the basics. Yeah, and that's okay. Me, how do we really go about this? Because we are we don't have unlimited time. We were given forty five minutes by Devashish to make it effective. So we cannot go back to basics every time. That's the issue. How do we solve it? 
Because if we start, it will become dropped anyway. Yeah, it's dropped off. Yeah, yeah, it's okay because it's somebody will always have some issue. That's all right, no problem. And it's fair. I mean, if he doesn't know it, he wants to find out. It's okay. Doesn't matter. So I think uh, some of the great uh, ideas that I can see see here coming from you all, and uh, there. What do we do next from in terms of these uh, ideas? Uh, because we go back with it next session. What do we do? So the next step would be the next batch. We should be able to come back with these consolidated and say, okay, this is how the project is looking like, and give it a final shape. So next batch may be constrained, uh, and also we can identify some resources with the help of river sheets. Those who are really wanting to volunteer, we can come together. To give it a proper shape and come out with more concrete stuff next time. That's what I would propose. Yeah, so uh, not trying to. Uh, so, so just uh, this is my first meeting. So I would love to get a recording of the previous sessions so I can you know understand more. So if that's available, please share. Thank you. Yeah, that's a great idea. Okay, so. So I've also what I've done is that I made a PDF of all the ideas you've given it. And we'll have a look at that. Whoever needs a PDF, we can even send it to them. Uh, as required, Devishish can tell us what the process is. And uh, then we'll take it ahead from there. So yeah. over to Devishish. Yeah. Thank you so Thanks. much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much. Are you going to like to say one thing that uh, that today is without... Can't hear you. Can't hear you. Okay. I I would like to uh, thank both the speakers who conducted the session, but more importantly, to conclude this session, which I picked up from uh, Can't hear, can't hear. Oh, 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 can't. Uh, now can. <laughs> As always. I have, to, I have to be very close to the microphone. <laughs> okay. So I'm just picking up one line from what Madhulika said, and I'm just uh, rephrasing that to conclude the session. That is, if Virat Kohli requires a course even today, then I think every individual requires a course throughout his life. Nebishi, sir, we can't hear you. Maybe uh, the microphone is not following your voice, possibly. This microphone ko mere se kuch jada hi dosti hai. Can you hear me now? It's, it's a lot better now. Yeah. Yes, now we can. So I was, uh, I'll repeat the whole thing. Just wanted to thank both the people who conducted the session, Nasreen Ma'am and Vikas sir. And uh, I think it's a wonderful initiative which can take a different dimension beyond our imagination to, today. And I'm concluding the session with just one sentence, uh, which I pick up from, and I'm rephrasing Madhulika's sentence in this, which is, that if, and she spoke about sportsmen, so I'm taking, if Virat Kohli requires a coach today and Sachin Tendulkar required a coach till the last day of his career, I think everybody requires a coach in a lifetime. So that's the potential of this program. And I think this will do a great, uh, this will give a great joy to IMTNs over the batches. So let's hope we uh, come back with a better uh, you know, more concrete plan in the next uh, phase where we are able to pull in a lot of IMTNs who are already in this profession, as well as, uh, you know, introduce this to a lot of uh, IMTNs who might be needing this over a period of time. <clears throat> Can I add something? Out, yeah, we'll be sending out some uh, Google Forms and request forms, uh, request and would like everybody to respond. Yeah, yeah. Madhulika. Yeah, very quickly. I will, you know, um, uh, if if somebody can be certified, see what's the biggest challenge when you have resources or talent in the organization is that um, they don't come with the level of maturity that you need, right? You may have skill sets and it's becoming extremely tough now with technology that if you don't have the human skills, it's becoming very difficult to deal with people. So probably if some if if I could carry a badge that says that, okay, I did this particular program, the market may have some value to say that, okay, itna to iska hoga ya itna level of maturity hoga and I may be willing 
as uh, uh, you know the whole fraternity in the business to value that a little more just as you have a imt badge to give you that little more value in the market vis-a-vis -vis somebody else mm -hmm. okay good great idea okay okay thanks madhurika done i think i think we'll just conclude the meeting from here uh, so we spoke about couple of initiatives that we are going to run at the lounge one is so we are dividing the alumni into two groups overall uh, from the activities at the lounge one is the entrepreneurs and second is the industry people who are working in a corporate job so there is a separate module for entrepreneurs which we tried and tested in the first week of april vinamra spoke about it which we are going to run uh, on a monthly basis anur uh, ankur is going to lead this initiative uh unfortunately he was the founder of ecel during his student days and we are giving him the founder position here also so he has to run the initiative for us ankur from the 2010 batch i don't know if he's, he's got into a flight he was there earlier uh and then the second one is the industry one which has again two multiple sets one is you know trying to build up something around the bni network uh some structure around that the second one is a uh, 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 idea that was uh, given by uh, uh, you know some people in the room and the reason that person gave the room is because she is a extremely good performer she said i want to connect with the uh, batches which are 10 batches senior to me and i want to overtake their position in their career so that's the intention with which she had given me that idea i could read through her at that point of time but you know she uh, so but i love that idea of coming from an imtn because uh, that's progress and uh, so we are going to have this meet between 2016 and 2006 so that's the das ka dam uh, program that we are going to launch and then every batch can do it and multiple batch reunions uh, this coaching module is going to be one of the front uh, uh, i would say front runners or our uh focus area for the next couple of years till the time we are able to achieve success for it uh thank you so much for joining in unfortunately sachit is on the call so there was a gift for him prabhat is still not here so there was a gift for him because these are our batch champions who won the awards any of the others who won the awards over here nahi so we'll keep the prize distribution for the next meeting thank you so much for joining in online from across the globe uh we are going for a party and i hope you guys go for one also thank, thank you. you so much bye bye, bye.